Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a closet clean out. I've been wanting to do one of these in my channel for the longest. Today's the day. It is February 1st right now, so I feel like it's still the beginning of the year. We gotta get my wardrobe looking nice and clean because right now it's just pretty cluttered and it's just not doing it for me anymore. Also, a lot of the things I have in this closet are not being used and I feel like somebody else can have them and get more use out of them, of course. To start off by showing you what my closet looks like, obviously, and what I have in here and how everything is like organized right now. So you guys can kind of get an idea of everything that's in here. I present to you my closet. <laughs> So you guys are on my bed, but I wanted to show you guys what I had on the doors. This door, I just have a bunch of bags. I have some scarves. I have some bathrobes. I also have some hats, some belts that I literally never wear. And then on this side, I have more bags, another robe, and then I literally have some curtains that I just never used and they're just hanging here. Um, so yeah, that needs to go. In the top rod, I just have all of my long sleeves. Okay, so you guys are down here now. And the next rod I'm gonna talk about is this one right here. I don't know what happened to it. Like it used to be really clean and organized, but throughout the winter time and holidays and stuff, I ended up buying more clothes and it just wouldn't fit anymore. So I ended up bringing some of the long sleeves down here and I ended up just putting things literally like hanging on the top like this because just they just don't fit. So that is a big no-no. I hate the way it looks. Obviously, whenever I'm trying to reach for something, it is really hard to get it out because it's so tight and because there's just things hanging on top of the hanger. So moving on to this side of my closet, I have all of my shoes. I'm not sure if you guys can see the shelf at the very, very top. Let me show you guys. It's basically a bunch of things that I just don't want to get rid of, like memories and stuff like that. I have like a memory box from school and just random things. And then on the next shelf, I just have some booties. And then moving on to this shelf, I have a bunch of heels, same for this one. And then this one has this little box with all of my sandals, all of my tennis shoes. Oh, you can't even see that. <laughs> More tennis shoes. And then the floor just became a disaster recently. I promise I don't always have it like this. I have more tennis shoes, I have sandals, I have these boots. And then down here, I literally just have all of my bathing suits in a bag. So that is pretty much everything that's in my closet. And honestly, I feel like I hardly wear anything in this closet. I mean, obviously I do, but I feel like there's just too much, too much stuff. So I just went through all of my long sleeves and I pretty much have down everything that I don't want to keep and everything that I do want to keep. I'm still kind of iffy of some of the things I'm getting rid of, honestly, but I just have to take it out of my closet and get used to not having them there and everything will be okay, trust me. It's pretty hard, like I want to keep everything, but I know I just don't use it so it's pointless. Starting off with this jacket here, this green jacket, I've been having it since high school. I mean, it's still pretty cute, but I don't know if you guys remember that trend in high school where everybody would have, like, the green military jackets. This is it, and I still use it sometimes, but I'm kind of over it. Honestly, I feel like I'm never going to get anything, like, similar if I see it at the store because I know I have one. So now that I'm going to get rid of it, I can buy something cuter and more on trend, I guess. Okay, so this is everything that I'm going to keep. I think it's still a lot of clothes, but... I do wear these things, kind of, and it's things that are just like staple pieces that I just can't get rid of just because I haven't worn in a while. Now, over here, this is everything that I'm going to be getting rid of. This pile right here um, from the long sleeve section. So, what I was thinking of doing initially is just taking everything out of my closet at the same time and just kind of going through everything and then start putting things back. But my room is too small. Like, I have literally just taking out my long sleeves and it's already taking up most of my room, especially since I'm filming too. So I have like my camera equipment and everything out right now. So there's really no room for me to do that. So I'm definitely gonna go section by sections. So I'm gonna put my long sleeves back up in its rod and then I'm gonna move on to my short sleeve. So I'm thinking of putting all of like my bigger coats and like my bigger jackets in this side of the wall, which is kind of towards the back. And then put all of like my regular long sleeves, like my thinner ones on this side just because it's more like in the center of the closet so i think that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> So 
my top rod is pretty much clean. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the bottom rod, which is all of my tank tops and my short sleeves. I'm sitting on the floor now because I'm about to start going through everything that you guys just see me throw on the floor basically And once I'm done with that, we're gonna basically rearrange this It's not that bad honestly, but I do want to change some things around this is everything that I'm gonna get rid of. This is what it's looking like right now. I have a lot of space now. I do need to rearrange it, obviously, and kind of like color coordinate it or something. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. shirt and I have a really good story well not it's not a good story because I got hurt but I have a story and I have a theory also for this shirt I think it's cursed and so do my friends because I've only worn this shirt twice and both the times that I've worn the shirt I've gotten injured and it was in the same leg so let me tell you guys the story so the first time that I wore this shirt it was for two of my friends birthdays we rented out a party bus and we went bar hopping and I was wearing this shirt with some little jeans and some small heels and of course if you've ever been in a party bus you know that to get on the bus there's like steps and this party bus had really steep steps like really steep everything was perfectly fine I had so much fun and once we were about to get home like the bus was dropping us off I fell down from the stairs and twisted my ankle and then I couldn't walk after that for like a few days honestly like a week probably and mind you I was drinking so I was a little bit tipsy but I wasn't that drunk like to fall maybe it was just the heels and how steep the step was honestly and maybe a little bit that I was kind of tipsy I don't know but yeah that's story number one second story time of this shirt I was actually at my friend's house for her birthday I was obviously wearing this shirt with some little shorts and some little sandals this time and me and my friends were just hanging around dancing you know just standing up chilling and my friend stepped on me and she was wearing Doc Martens and I was wearing sandals so she stepped right on my big toe and it completely lifted my toe out and it was pretty gross there was blood everywhere thank god i didn't feel it because i was pretty drunk i couldn't imagine how much it hurt but i just didn't feel it but the next day i definitely felt it and it was not fun at all and i had to go get it removed and it hurt really bad really bad obviously the anesthesia that they had injected into my toe wore off and basically like my nail or not my nail like my toe was just there like skin was just raw and bloody now it's like i like coming out again so it doesn't hurt anymore but it just looks horrible so i had to wear a band-aid all the time and i love wearing sandals so that's a bummer and that was actually on the same foot that i twisted my ankle i made that story super long but anyway do you guys think it's cursed yes or no should i wear it one more time and see if anything happens to my left foot or should i just not risk it a few moments later out of my closet all of my shoes everything that was on the floor obviously except my clothes it's still there because I just put it in there but I'm gonna go ahead and clean the floors and all of the shelves because they are super messy I'm about to show you guys what they look like literally there's like mud on the shelves from like tennis shoes that I just put in there while they were dirty there's a lot of like dust on the floor and yeah I just need to clean 
the baseboard. These are all the shoes that I'm keeping and then on this side I have all of the sandals that I'm going to be keeping and then over here like this pile is all of the shoes that I'm not going to keep. So we are getting closer to the end. I just finished all of my shoes and I'm about to start with my doors. I also feel like this video is taking me so long to make because I'm also filming for TikTok. So it's kind of hard going back and forth from camera to camera. So I hope both of these videos are a success because it's taking me all day. Go ahead and follow me on TikTok. I'm going to leave my handle right here. I've never worn this bag ever. It's literally my mom's. I don't even know what it's doing here. So I'm pretty much done with my closet and I'm about to show you guys the reveal um, But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed until the end So this is the reveal I honestly feel like it's just much more organized and I have more room to kind of look through my clothes. So starting off with the floor, I have all of my heels on this side. Moving on to this side of the floor, I have all of my sandals. I love these sandals at the moment. So I have them down here because I do use those a lot. This first shelf, I have both of my platform Converse and then I have my Crocs. And moving on to this shelf, I have all of my Vans on this one and then I have some flats. And then this shelf here has all of like my running shoes and so does this one. Also have my Air Forces and then these here, which aren't really running shoes, but they're just tennis shoes. And on the top shelf here, I just have my boots. For this door here, I kept all of my hats. I really do use hats during the summer mostly, so I kept five of them. I got rid of one. And then for this side of my door, I have this little black backpack from Aldo. It's the only small backpack that I have, so I'm gonna keep it and it's black, so I know it goes with pretty much everything and then moving on to my clothes this is what it looks like so I kept it pretty much the same down here I have all of my tank tops and all of my short sleeves and everything is pretty much kind of like with its color so I have all of my greens here all of like my whites my browns my prints and then I have like more like pinkish rose gold color here and then the top one same thing, all of my long sleeves. So yeah, guys, I am pretty much done with this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed cleaning out my closet with me. I hope it motivated you to clean yours out as well. It will make you feel so much better. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> what? my like spaghetti spaghetti oh my goodness i cannot talk